Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to Your Football Predictions, the weekly prediction series when I put in my predictions for the weekend's football. You guys do the same, I go through everyone's predictions and I shout out the winner in the following episodes. So, we'll have a quick look at my predictions from the weekend gone. I hoped Newcastle might beat Swansea 2-0, it was actually 1-1. Um, I thought Watford would beat Southampton, that was actually a 2-2 draw. I thought Tottenham would beat Everton, I went 1-0, it was 4-0, so I was not expecting that. And Liverpool Man City, uh, I, I said there was going to be goals, I didn't think there would be quite that many, Liverpool won 4-3, so crazy, crazy game. Uh, thank you for everyone who got involved, everyone who put your predictions in for last weekend's football. Only one person got two correct scores and that was Adnan, so I have put Adnan's YouTube link down in the description, make sure you guys go and subscribe to him, I already have. And remember, if you want to be shouted out just like Adnan was, get your predictions in for this weekend's football. Uh, but as always, we'll go through those games now. So to start things off, we've got Saturday 12.30 kickoff. We've got Brighton versus Chelsea. Brighton currently 16th, Chelsea currently up in 4th. Uh, Brighton of their last five games, they've won one, drawn two, lost two. And one of those losses was actually against Chelsea a few weeks ago when they played them at Stamford Bridge. Uh, Chelsea's last five games, they've drawn three and won two. They beat Leicester at the weekend, so... Three draws, two wins from Chelsea, probably not quite what they want to be hitting at the minute. They really want to be winning all their games. Um, can Brighton do it two weeks or three weeks later from when they lost last time? They are at home this time, but I do think Chelsea are going to go there and beat them. It's on TV, so it's a big stage for Brighton to show what they can do at home against a big team, but I do think Chelsea will have the edge, so I'm going to put them down for a 2-1. But... On the day, you know, Brighton are at home, anything can happen. Next up on the three o'clock kickoff I've gone for this weekend is Burnley taking on Man U. So, we all know Burnley had that amazing start to the season. I mean, they're in seventh. They're still in a very good position, but of their, lost, of their last five games, they've lost three and drawn two. Um, so, they have lost that little bit of form. I mean, one of those draws was actually against Man United uh, when they played them at Man U. So again, similar to the last game, they're playing them again, they're at home this time, hopefully going to better the score they did in the away game. Man U, they're currently sitting in second. Um, I mean, of their last five games, they've drawn three and they've won two, similar to the Chelsea form. So not quite where they want to be and that's kind of why teams like Liverpool are starting to get back into it, get amongst it, because maybe they're not winning as many games as they should be, but... I don't know. Burnley are seventh, Man U second. As I said, it was a draw at Old Trafford a few weeks ago. Um, Sanchez going to be at Man U in time for that game? Probably not. I don't know. Um, shall I back Burnley? Ah, oh, nah. I, Burnley are on a poor bit of form. I think Man U will probably beat them. 1-0 Man U. Next up on the Saturday 5.30 kickoff. So it's on TV. I think it's on BT Sport. Man City versus my team, Newcastle United. Um, common theme with this one, because we also played them a few weeks ago, except at St. James's Park when we lost 1-0. Uh, Man City have been, well, the top of the league. They've been winning the majority of their games. Um, they drew with Crystal Palace a few weeks ago that I did mention. And then they've, we found out that they're not unbeatable. Uh, Liverpool beat them 4-3 in an absolute cracker of a game. Uh, Newcastle. We've just got promoted. We're going to have the rough with the smooth. Um, unfortunately, I think this weekend could be a bit rough. Uh, it's on TV. We're going to Man City. They've just lost, which I suppose is a good thing for us that we can think that they can actually lose a game. But at the same time, Man City are going to definitely going to want to right that wrong against us. Um, and they're a very good side. You know, Newcastle's last five games, we have won two, drawn two, and lost one. Um... You could say maybe those two draws could have been wins, but for a promoted side, that last five games is pretty decent. However, um, unfortunately, I do not see Newcastle beating Man City or even drawing, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if Rafa's going to defend, if he's going to try and attack this time. I've, I've got no idea, but he's, he's, he's up against it, let's be honest. Um... 1-0 Man City, let's hope. The, I, you know, I'd love a draw. I'd take a point. I'm going to the game, so if you want to see that, make sure you check out my vlog on the Saturday night. Um, 
I'll just leave it at that. I'd love a draw, but I just can't see it happening, unfortunately. And to finish things off, the only game on Sunday this weekend is 4 o'clock, and it is Southampton versus Tottenham. I said Southampton are 17th. I, I knew they weren't having a great bit of form this season, but I, I didn't realise they were actually that far down. Tottenham are in 5th, pushing for those Champions League spots. I mean, Southampton of their last five games have drawn three and lost two. So again, you can see why they're down there at the minute. Uh, they did get a draw at the weekend, so that is positive for them. Tottenham did have that bit of dip in form, but in their last five games, they've drawn one and won four. And they're three points off the Champions League spots. So it's, South, it's at Southampton, so that's a bit of promise for the home side. But Tottenham are picking up some form. Harry Kane is scoring, um, and I think you'll probably get a couple against Southampton. So I'm going to go 3-1 to Spurs. And that's it, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Those are my predictions up there. So remember to get yours down in the comments below. I go through everyone's predictions before the first game kicks off, which is this Saturday at 12.30. So get your predictions in before then. Um, as I said, I am going to the Man City game on Saturday, so look out for my vlog on Saturday night. Get your comments in down below. If you drop a comment, drop a like as well. It means a lot to me and more than you think. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you later.